up? What's up, Capricorn? So I'm hearing relay. You know, when I think about a relay, I feel like someone is in competition or someone's in like some type of uh, um, some type of race or something. Like there could be somebody that's competing against you, somebody that that is like a um, I want to say like a it's not an enemy. They're not your ally, but they they pretend and act like they for you. When really they're in competition with you. Hmm. Let's go ahead, jump into your reading, see what this energy is about. Beloved, what's going on with Capricorn? What's the message you have for Capricorn? What want to talk about? Discovery. This might be something <clears throat> you recently discovered about this person. This 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 and you know what? I'm thinking about certain movies, you know, I'm thinking about movies like, like Juice and Pain and Fool, like how a friend became a foe, like how someone actually that's around you is actually not for you, but really against you, but act like you're ally or something, like they all down for what you down for. What's going on with Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Alrighty. Yeah. So you got bittersweet. <laughs> that's that, that's that, that's that facade right there. You got vanity. You got workaholic. And you have growth. You know, a very, very um interested energy that's coming out to correspond with kind of the energy I was p picking up because why should Capricorn be on top like I do I do just as much as Capricorn do like Capricorns always win this is an envious jealous ass energy that's coming through Capricorn like the way they do self talk is like I don't know if this is a self-esteem boost for them or something, but this self-talk, wait, I need another deck. This one ain't going to do it. Let's use this one. But, um, they self-talk is their biggest downfall, and that's why they don't get ahead of you, because the way, like, you can be envious and convey your neighbor and get ahead. It don't work like that. Like when you keep your eyes fixed on your own journey, that's when you see yourself succeed. And success is different for different people. Like my level of success is way different for most people. Like my level of success is, you know, I just want to be a good person, period. When I'm a good person, when I'm a good ass person, like when I leave this earth and people will be like, yeah, she was a good person. I know I succeeded. You know, so some people value success in other ways. I don't think the same as everybody else, you know? But for somebody, whoever this person is, they in competition with you, Capricorn, and they freaking hate it. That you always seem to prosper and grow. Why is bittersweet here? This is something, man. Wow, yep. This is somebody that's like a, a best friend, a, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. It's, it's like, look at this friendliness. You guys coexist together. This isn't this isn't like somebody you don't know. This somebody either you had you had this inkling Capricorn, whether or not you listen to it, but you've had this inkling that. Why they say that? Like, it just seemed a little off to you. Couldn't put your finger on it while they kind of said what they said. But, you know, it, like, kind of seemed a little off or something. Okay? Because, yeah. This person. This is them. And this, this laziness energy. Okay? They just want things to come to them. They feel like, they feel like as long as, oh, they attach to your coat strap. As long as they attach to you, like they'll always be on, but what they don't know and what this person can't see while they sitting there thinking that they playing the game with this checkerboard behind them and they checkmating you or something like that. They don't see that everything's getting ready to crumble around them. Like when this revelation knowledge come to you, their damn world is getting ready to crumble. Okay. It's going to lead ass in this energy. Yeah. 
stuck between a rock and a hard place, like not knowing what to do with themselves, kind of, um, oh, I'm getting the literal schizophrenia. Like this person gonna deal with some mental health issues and all kind of stuff because they don't realize the reason why you successful is because you have either angels, you have passed on loved ones, you may be into ancestors and have ancestors, but you have some type of spiritual force that's leading and guiding you into all of your successes, okay? So this is a person that celebrates with you. Oh, you know what? How I'm getting it is you got people around you that's really for you, Cap. Wait, hold on. You got people around you that's really for you. Because some people, when it's in the rain, people ain't for you in the rain. It's only when the sun out where everything's going good, they really in the rain. This people, this person envy you for a lot of reasons. Because you got people that's really there for you, that's really down for you, right? But um, you want to be with me in the sunshine, where was you in the rain? So maybe this is a person that when you were down there and now they kind of left you behind and you still have some real ass people with. But this no, this is still somebody that's super close to you. You know what I mean? But you so protected though. And this maturity energy, like look at you. You you budding, you flowering, you shining. Because no matter what, with that tree or without that tree, this person may think they made you or like you owe them something. It's like with or without you, baby. I'm going to shine. You know? They don't like it. And that's why they, this bittersweet energy is here. Like, yeah. Why is vanity here? Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. You are for this person. This person is not for you. How they see you ain't really how they feel about you. Like, they give you this face when they see you, Cap. Like, y'all cool. Like, um, like everything is all right and stuff like that. But when you walk away, this is how they really feel about you. Hold on, let me see if I get it. This is how they really feel about you. They be like, I don't like that bitch or I don't like that bro. I don't like him. I don't like her. Like, and it's all because of um how you doing. You know, like you willing to take chances into the unknown. Because it's like I said, you got a hedge of protection that's so cold around you that leads and guides you. You willing to do things that other people not willing to do. You willing to um, make the effort and um and and go into ventures that nobody else would think of because it's like you get these these intuitive hits and when you get these intuitive hits cap it's like you follow them to the t it's like you get the blueprint okay and then when you get the blueprint you usually get them in this situation when you're alone it can usually hit you like that when you're alone don't know why you know that it's like to leave capricorn alone is a dangerous thing because capricorn don't come out 10 toes ahead okay but this person wants to hold on they do not want to give up this relationship or whatnot. This person is used to holding on to some of people, some type of energy. Like the, they're like an energy vulture. They're like, um, they're like one of them people that attach themselves to you. This is a person that knows how to get in where they fit in, type energy that stays around people. But beloved is trying to give you a view from a higher perspective about this person. It's like I want you to see who this person really is. This person is really just all about money. This is the type of person that will hurt you, Cap, because they that jealous and that envious, okay? This is the type of individual where you got to uh, sleep with one eye open and you got to keep them close to you, okay? Yeah. Because this person has these schizophrenic to um multiple personalities and whatnot they act like this but really this is who they is this lion right here it could be a leo in your life or something like that but this person yeah they'll just walk over people to get to where they need to be everything they only with down for you or with you or friends with you because you benefit them cat yeah and this this is their problem they got blockages okay they don't, you know what, they hard need to open because for some reason I feel like their heart is not open. Like, Beloved has been trying to repair their heart because their head is so 
messed up. Okay, they're they're whatever they feel in their gut. They follow like they don't follow their instinct. It's like these two are cut off. Okay, and if you got a jealous and envious heart, like man, that's all you gonna ever produce. Why is workaholic here? Dang, that flew all the way over there. And you know what flew under this projection energy is that we are the world because that's what they want you to believe. Like they're there for you through thick and thin, no matter what. It's me and you. Like we're going to get through this, Cap. You know, and that's not who they are at all. If anything, they would love to see you fail. And you know what's crazy? This is like a collective energy because, like I said, this person got so much envy and jealousy. They'll like to see you like mm, done. Like done. Done, done. Okay. See, this is this is who you've been coming there like. This person that gives of yourself, always giving to others, sharing sharing your resources, your knowledge, your wisdom, your game. Okay, how to checkmate, how to really play the game. Like all the all the resources that you have, this is what you give to this person because you are putting in the work. You are the one that has all of the resources and different things to make their life better. They know this. Okay. Yeah. As long as they can sit at your table, eat it. Who is this person, Cap? First off, let me tell you what I'm really getting with this person. Let me step back from the car for a, mo for a moment. This is, this is the type of snake that camouflages themselves. Um, this is an authentic person. This person is, they're around and they, they blend in easily because of their personality type. But that's not really who they are. This person, I feel like, is someone who's very strategic in the way that they enter your life. The way that they attach themselves to people. They could attach themselves to people. Let's say let's say you met this person through a family member or a friend. Like, they know how to attach themselves to people for their own personal gain. And once they get, like... They get close, they attach it, or they make some type of situation come about where they can attach themselves, or y'all got a commonality or some type of thing in common, and then they feel like they're just in, and then they're able to like, like, like soak up all the game that you have. Like this is the type of person that you gotta really watch out for because they're not, they're not, they're not there for as a friend. They're not there really as a foe, but they're there for opportunity. This is like an opportunist. So whoever has the the opportunities, whoever's getting to the money, the success, the whatever, the resources, this is who this person attaches themselves to. Okay. Yeah, beloved has been trying to show you this. I don't know if you've been quiet enough to actually see this because whatever path you're on, it, like doors and opportunities are open for you. But this, this like beloved has been trying to get your attention about this person. But I'm not sure if you've been listening, Capricorn. Yeah, you've been having too much going on to really sit back and get silent and really listen, okay? You think that everybody is for you, okay? But it's just one person. I'm just getting picking up one person. That's in your life. That's not. Okay. Why is growth here for Capricorn? Why is growth here? Mmm. Mmm. Why is growth here? Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. First off, Cap, when you do get silent, your intuition is going to be on point. This is where you get into the stage where you are actually seeing, hearing, and listening to the what Beloved is actually telling you about people, places, and things that's in your life, right? It's like this, um, this, this energy of awareness, like, opens your world up to a totally, like, different viewpoint you get reconnected to source reconnected to god reconnected to the universe whatever it is 
Like it just say, sets your life afire, like a blaze. Like there's nothing that can sneak past you or no one that can get in your energy or in your or a vortex. I don't even know why I get vortex. But your energy, your vortex like this, Cap. Because this person, like I said, they're neither friend nor foe. They're an opportunist. Like whatever opportunity comes their way, they attach themselves to that person hoping to get that opportunity. Okay? Yeah. This is so important for you, I promise you. You got to drown out all them voices. Look at all those things trying to attach themselves to you. And unless you really, I'm telling you, Cap, you got to, man, you need to meditate. You need to put up your um, your um, bubble or whatever you need to do, Capricorn, in order for people not to be able to touch you. Because look at those energies that's trying to, like, get in your head, get in your mind, get in your um, spirit, like, get around you. These energies are trying to attach themselves to you. All these different energies of different people and stuff. Like, they, they want information from you. They want to know how you are doing what you're doing, Cap. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And here come this person. Look at what energy they in. They're in this energy of intensity. I think in this, in this deck, this is the Knight of Wands energy. They want, like, look, if you're sitting there... And you're like this. This is them on the phone. Like, what you doing? Oh, I'm just chilling. Hey, I'm finna come over. Nah, no, not right now. I'm just chilling. Oh no, I need to talk to you. I need like they're they're forceful in some type of way to to be be around you, be in your energy. I don't know what's up with this person, man. But this person just seemed like um they have like this desperate energy you would know them because they have this desperate energy to be around you to be around you at moments when you handling business to be around you in moments when you try to take care of things this person yeah this person is an opportunist and this is why growth this card growth is here because they are uh, opportunities okay they're not willing to let you, let you go you don't have to let this person go okay because like i said this person wants to attach themselves to you okay man you gonna have to put up that 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 um protection because i see a lot of people that's coming camouflage that's trying to attach themselves to you the better the higher you elevate whether spiritually, emotionally, physically, financially, there's going to be all these people that want to attach themselves to you. These are opportunities. Opportunists, shut them down at the door. Let them know, nah, it ain't that type of type of party. I ain't, I ain't with that, okay? Because, yeah, look at how this person is behind closed doors. Real talk. But um, either way, Capricorn, that's the message I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and so take care.